What's up guys, it's Matt. This video will be a quick guide into how to set up a paper trading or demo account on TradingView and why this can be incredibly important to you, especially if you're a beginner trader. And this is something that you can do entirely for free. So if you guys end up finding this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to this channel to see more content like this in the future. So the first thing that you wanna do after you've created a TradingView account is once you have your charts loaded up on the bottom you will see a panel and on the right side it will say trading panel and so this is where if you have a live account on any one of these brokers you can connect but um, where it says paper trading by trading view this is where you would connect and so what paper trading on trading view is is that this allows us to trade as if we were risking real money but we're not using real money we're using fake money so this is a demo or practice account and so right here it says that my account balance is five thousand dollars and so if you want to change this amount what you would do is on the top left side you would click on paper trading and then you would click on reset paper trading account you will have the option to put in whatever balance you want personally what i think is best to do is to risk a realistic amount that you see yourself investing sometime in the future and keep in mind that all of this will be in us dollars so unfortunately there isn't an option to change the currency but one thing that you can do is you could simply convert your currency into us dollars so that you can get a feel on how much this would actually represent in whichever currency you're actually trading with and so now i have a bunch of different tabs where i can see my positions i can see any current orders that are running so right now I don't have any trades running I can see my history so you can see the history for this current account and then the entire account history and then your trading journal if I click here on paper trading I can go into commission settings and I could turn on a fixed commission so if I want this to feel a little bit more realistic and this is where I can put a fixed percentage or I could put a fixed dollar amount like five dollars per trade and so now if I go to place a trade on the top left I have my sell button on the left and my buy button on the right and if I click on the quantity which will be represented in units I can change this amount based on how much I want to risk so in the forex market for the most part depending on which pair we're trading one standard lot will be a hundred thousand units so if I click sell then we can see that right away a notification pops up where it says that I placed an order and over here on the right so let me move this down a bit we can see a panel that popped up and it shows us the unit amount so 1000 units and it shows us how much we're currently up or down in our position so now if i click where it says protect position if i click on this a panel will pop up on the right side and so now i can select my take profit as well as my stop loss you can see on the right side how it shows my entry position as well as my stop loss and my take profit and if i want to i can just click on the stop loss and modify it and drag it up and down which will automatically modify it if i want to do it a bit quicker and i can do the same thing for my take profit so if i change it it says that it's been modified on the left side and if you want to change any of your settings with your buy or sell panel or where your orders are shown if you want them shown at all this is where you either click onto your chart settings or where it says paper trading here on the left if i click on this and then click on trading settings now i can modify whether or not i want to see the buy or sell buttons on the top left i can select if i want it to be an instant order or if it takes me to the panel on the right so personally i believe it's better to have this turned off so that way you can modify your stop loss and your take profit and your risk before you enter your trade and then i can click if i want my entry position shown on the right as well as if i want my profit and loss to be counted in percentages or if i want it in pips so currently we're down 1.5 pips or if i want it to be in a dollar amount and then you have an option to have a reverse button which I wouldn't really use and what it does is if I click this reverse button it'll basically reverse our position so now if we're selling it'll flip back
back into a buy. If we click on show executions, we can decide if we want our trades to be displayed on our chart with these tiny arrows. And then we can click on extended price line for positions and orders. So my stop loss and my take profit are turned off, but this is where you can have this horizontal line that will extend across your chart so you can see these a bit better. And so now in another example, so now if we don't have instant orders turned on and I go to the top left, I click on either buy or sell and the number in the middle will show us our spread. So currently the spread is 1.3 pips. This isn't going to be the same as what you would get on a live account. So live accounts will usually have greater spreads. Anyways, if I wanted to sell dollar yen, I would click on this. Now we have a panel that pops up on the right side. Now I can choose if I want to place a market order, which would execute right away or a limit order, depending on if we're buying or selling. So if we want to buy, the limit order will be at a price below the current price that we're trading at and we want to sell well then it's going to be above the current price and then we can choose a stop order which is the opposite so if i wanted to place a sell stop that would be below the price so if the price continues pushing down and it hits my sell stop order then it would execute our trade now the best part over here is that before i take my trade i can modify my take profit my stop loss and how much i'm willing to risk for my account so right now our account is slightly below five thousand dollars and if i wanted to take a sell position right now where I risk 2% per trade, this will automatically show us how many units we need in order to take this trade, which is around 59,000 or about 0.59 standard lots. And it shows us our pip value down over here. For every one pip that the market moves up or down, this will be a change of $5.25. And now depending on what our take profit is set to, it'll show us our risk to reward ratio. And so if I don't want a stop loss of 19 pips, if I wanna have a stop loss that's much wider, well now if I change this to something like 30 pips, notice how the unit amount has decreased. And now if I wanna have a more aggressive stop loss, like 10 pips, and I also wanna risk 2%, well now we need over 100,000 units. And again, the pip value would change. We'd be risking close to $10 per pip. And so now this would be a pretty good risk to reward ratio where we'd be risking 10 pips for 75 pips or 2% for a possible 15%. But again, this, this can be changed to now a 20 pip take profit. So we are risking 2% for 4%. This would be a risk to reward ratio of one to two. And so now if I click sell, a bunch of text pops up on the left hand side. So if you don't want this, you can turn this off in the menu. But now if I close this panel, we can see that our order has been modified. We have our stop loss and our take profit. And now if I bring the panel up, it shows which direction we took this trade in. So we decided to sell. So it says short. It shows us the quantity in units, our take profit, our stop loss, and our profit. Or if I wanna change what's being displayed over here, well then I would click on these three dots on the right side and now I can choose if I want my quantity shown, if I wanna show my profit, or if I don't wanna show the profit, the last price, and you can modify it over here. And also if I wanna take a trade based on a certain price, so for example, let's say I wanna sell at 113.2, well then I would just right click where it says trade, and this is where I can set a sell limit order or a buy stop order. And it shows us the amount, and so I either click on this or I click on create new order. And now I can add another order if I want to add one again. And then once you've taken your trades, if you wanna close your position, you can choose um, whether or not you wanna close the whole position or if you wanna partial close. So lastly, I wanna go over the question, how long should I practice on a paper trading account or a demo account before I switch over into a live account? And the answer is that ideally you should do this for at least a few months, more like a couple of months, uh, in some cases, even a few years. And this really just depends on the type of person you are and how much time you're willing to put into studying the markets. So nobody should feel embarrassed that they're starting off on a demo account or a paper trading account because it's a great step for beginners before you slowly transition into a live account. Now, obviously a demo account is completely different than a live account because um, psychologically, 
logically wise, your emotions won't be as affected since you're not risking real money. And then if I ever get sick of my account, I can always go into my settings over here and reset it and pretend like it never happened. But obviously in the real world, if you're risking real money, you can't just click reset. Um, if you lose money, you lose money. That's just how it is. But again, this is a great first step that you can take to get a feel for the market and practice a strategy and to grow more confident. And then once you've done this for quite some time, then you could start off with a live account, ideally a micro sized live account, meaning that so this is where you could start off with $500. And then once you do that for quite some time, then you can slowly work your way up. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like. And then of course, make sure to join my trading community. There's a link to the Discord app in the description, as well as a link to the Telegram app. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.